Hi, in this video we are going to see how to set max string size to extended in a PDB. Imagine a situation where a CDB is having multiple pluggable databases and each PDB is supporting one, one application and if one of the application requires or demands a bigger varchar to size then we can set this max string size to extended just at the PDB without impacting other PDBs or uh, the container database itself. Also this thing will not have any impact on the standby database. To demonstrate this uh, we are going to make use of a two node rack primary and a two node rack uh, standby with two pluggable databases. Uh, this is the uh, primary setup and to make it obvious I have chosen a uh, default background color as blue for my standby environment and this is my uh, standby setup and if I see the pluggable databases uh, these two are my pluggable databases okay let's check the value of the uh, max string size on the container database and also on the pluggable database on the primary side and also on the standby side this is my primary Uh, at the container level, uh, the value of the max string size is standard. Let's move to PDB1. Max string size is set to the standard at the PDB1 also. Now let's uh, move to PDB2 and check the value of the max string size on the primary side. It's the standard. Uh, so at the container level and at the pluggable databases, uh, we have set uh, we have the setting at uh, standard. Let's check the same thing on the standby side. Uh, let me check the value of this thing first. So this is our standby, read only with apply. And the max string size is set to standard in the uh, container level. Obviously, the setting would be the same as the primary, but we are just checking it. So at both the sites we have uh, uh, and for all the container and pluggable databases we have this setting of max string size uh, as a standard. Uh, we have a common user. Uh, let's see that common user owns a table in both uh, PDB1 and PDB2. Uh, for this exercise I have already created a table on PDB1 as that common user. Uh, let's just check its content to connect to the PDB1. It's just a dummy table uh, and uh, with one value prevent in it. Uh, let's verify the same from the standby. Okay, we can see the table. Now let's get this table created on the PDB2. We have created a table in the PDP2 and inserted a dummy value here. Let's check its content on the standby. On the standby, uh, this is our physical standby. Uh, let's check. Let's connect to PDP2. 
let's check the value again max string size it's still the standard and let's connect as the common user and verify the value that we have loaded we can see the value that we have inserted on the primary side on our standby side uh, and now let's try to do this exercise of upgrading the max string size to extended just for our pdb2 to facilitate that i am going to shut down the pdb2 on the standby side okay i need to do that as the root user this user sorry okay on our primary uh, pluggable database we just need to run the below steps that is we need to set the max string size to extended and then once that is set we need to close the pdb and this is a rag so we need to specify close immediate instances is equal to uh, all and then we will be opening up uh, the pdb and the current uh, uh, node in the upgrade mode and then uh, run the script which facilitates the uh, max string size to extended so let's run this on our primary alter system set max string size is equal to extended and we are running this for our pdb after that we need to shut it down uh, let's open in the upgrade mode Uh, the pdb pdb2 is opened in upgrade mode now uh, let's run the script uh, uh, which uh, modifies the max string size from standard to extended uh, the script ran fine uh, but the instance is in the upgrade mode so shut it down cleanly and then open the pdb uh, for all the instances okay we are connected to the uh, pdb2 and now let's show parameter max string uh, now we can see we with the help of that script we have modified the max string size uh, on our pdb uh, from standard to extended but uh, let's just check a few more things okay let's check the same value on our uh, pdb cdb sorry on the cdb it is still the standard so let's check on our other uh, pdb it's still the same on the other pdb also that means we have modified the max string size to extended on the required pdb alone without impacting the cdb and the other pdb uh, now just uh, let's just do a one more exercise of uh, doing some dmls we are connecting to the pdb one let's insert one more record let's commit this and let's connect to pdb2 also let's do the same thing a sample insert on our pdb2 also okay let's go to our standby and uh, verify our uh, sync or the MRP is running MRP is running fine without any issues let's, ver let's verify our change on the PDB the one more insert that we have done on the PDB one now we can see earlier we had this Pravin we have added this value one more value now in the PDB one we have added the same value on to our uh, PDB two also let's verify that
okay i need to open this pdb uh, it's in mounted mode so let me open this pdb open read only because this is a active data card environment now let's verify the content of our uh, table as the common user okay we can see the dml that we have done after we modified the uh, max string size to extended on both pdb1 and the pdb2 uh, to be replicated uh, properly to our uh, standby database uh, we did not really touch the container database itself while demonstrating the dml changes uh, and its impact on the standby uh, let's just create a table on the cdb itself and verify that from the standby side Uh, from a different window, let me grant the uh, privilege to the user. Now that we have granted the privilege, let's try to run the same command again. Just for fun, let's also verify the value of the max string size. It would be the same as standard at the container level. Okay, and now let's go to the our uh, uh, standby side and verify these changes from the uh, container database. Test is our table. Okay, uh, the changes that we made on our primaries uh, container database were propagated cleanly without any issues on our uh, standby side. Let's do one more activity on our uh, pluggable database PDB2 where we have set the max string size to extended. To fully utilize that thing, well, let's take the worker to of size 10,000. Uh, this is only possible uh, because uh, we set the max string size as extended. Otherwise, uh, uh, this is not a possibility for us. Uh, the 19 yes is our standby cluster so we're connecting to our standby our table name is test1 underscore pdb2 okay uh, if we want we can uh, load the dummy values into this uh, uh, name up to 10,000 where care 2 so with that on a two node rack primary having it standby on a two node rack uh, standby on a two node rack standby uh, we were able to modify the max string size to extend it just at the required pluggable database without any impact to the container database or other pluggable databases successfully that completes our video thank you for watching